Norvican National Central High School has always been excellent and resilient. Amidst COVID-19 pandemic, NNCHS is able to withstand every challenge in pursuit of student welfare and committed to delivering the best education among students. With the help of the student leaders and journalists, NNCHS continues to soar high and carry out its mission and fight every challenge to remain at its highest and strongest point. Today, we are here to give recognition to the hardworking leaders and members of the school publication. Ever, this is the, the first Supreme, Supreme Student Government and School Publication Virtual Recognition Ceremony. To start the program, let us have an opening prayer to be led by Hannah Joel Ampo, SSG Public Information Officer, to be followed by the National Anthem, led by an audio-visual presentation. Let us bow our heads and feel the presence of the Lord. Heavenly Father, we adore and worship you. We thank you for all the protection and blessings you have given. We also thank you for giving us strength the whole school year. Today, as we are having our virtual recognition, we pray, O oh Lord, to guide every one of us. Ease and bless the mind of every speaker today. May today be a memory that burns bright within us as we embark on life's great adventure. For this is we ask to your mighty name, in Jesus' name, Amen. Mga kababayan, ang pambansang awit ng Pilipinas. Juncture, let us all listen to J.R.D. Kalura, the SSG Student Welfare Committee and Editor-in-Chief of Ang Nangunguna. Our energetic school principal for Mr. Emilio G. Ison Jr., sir, to our two beautiful assistant school principal, Mrs. Maria Concepcion Iglesias and Mrs. Madeline Enomis, ma'am, to the different department heads, teachers, beloved SSG and school paper advisors, my co-SSG officers, staffers of the school publication, students of RNCHS, a pleasant day to all. As someone once said, the show must go on. Not that this is a show, but I am very grateful and happy 
that amidst this COVID-19 pandemic, Narbakan National Central High School still making things happen and able to celebrate this important event virtually. Today is the Supreme Student Government and School Publications first virtual recognition ceremony and I feel very privileged and honored to speak in front of you and acknowledge the achievements of our brilliant students who have made both the school and parents proud. This program is also held to recognize the young talents who have made an immense contribution to our school. This recognition ceremony is the most memorable experience for the SSG officers and student writers of the Ang Nangunguna and the Pioneer, for they will be having awards and have their efforts and sacrifices be acknowledged for the school year 2020-2021. The pandemic had brought an impact for the students and teachers, but as they said, there is no barrier for a person who's eager to give their service and take its responsibilities for the school, just like the SSG and school publication did. And also for the teachers who gave their best to teach and create modules for the students. May the name of Narbakan National Central High School continue shine for the different fields and continue making legacy in leadership and honesty. The recognitions that the school obtained is the proof and reason why Narbakan National Central High School is called as the home of the champions. To our brilliant junior high school and senior high school students, supportive parents, hardworking teachers, members of the school administrations, and to the people who are involved to make this program possible. Thank you for all the efforts and job well done. I know that we are all excited to hear our names to be called and celebrate our accomplishments with our families. So without further ado, I welcome you all to the Supreme Student Government and Student Publication First Virtual Recognition Ceremony. Congratulations and have a good day. Mr. Emilio G. Eisner Jr., Principal 4 of NNCHS, will deliver his message, followed by the Assistant Principal of both Junior and Senior High School. All right, dear uh, viewers, let me give my warm greetings to the diligent persistent, committed advisors of the Supreme Student Government and the school publication. I salute you because despite of the challenges posted before us brought about by the pandemic, we were able to conquer and become victorious and we are able to come out with a very tangible outputs which serve as an evidence how we are committed to our work and our mission to mold our young to become better person better leaders in the future i salute you because you are not intimidated by many circumstances that posted before you we were able to motivate our students to work even in the absence of your physical presence beside them to coach them and tell them what to do. You, you teach them to become more creative and resourceful despite of your absence. Therefore, you have proven your work as advisors. To the officers, members, of the SSG and the school publication, I want to salute you and give my utmost recognition for you have done a lot to lift the name of our school. 2020-2021, maybe in, in many people, they might be thinking, that student activities, student involvement already says, normal exists. 
But because of your diligence, dear students, you've proven your worth as leaders, and you have done a lot to bring honor and prestige to our school. I salute you, and also the parents have given the permission, their attention, not to exclude the resources in giving assistance to their children in coming up with their assigned tasks to accomplish a certain period of time that makes SSG and the school paper become active in their own respective way. Truly, without them, students of the Narbacan National Central High School may not be able to stand against the odds of the pandemic. Though we are not in contact with them, we are only communicating with them through the gadgets. They were able to compete and participate in the different challenges posted up before them. They brought honor, meaning they are winning in the contest they uh, participated. And likewise, the school paper were able to make a soft copy of our school paper featuring the different activities, different experiences that has transpired during the school year 2020-2021. So I believe with all your efforts, with all your successes for school year 2020-2021 will remain an inspiration to the incoming officers and members of the SSG and the school paper to become more effective and efficient in withholding the interest of not only academic but even in the leadership skills to make our community in Narbacan and in other places where you will be an inspiration and edifice of success. Congratulations again. May God bless us all. Okay, my congratulations and deepest appreciation for the uh, officers of the SSG as well as the editorial staff of uh, the Nanguna and the Pioneer for making the organization functional despite of the restrictions and the um, absence of face-to-face uh, -face collaboration brought by uh, this uh, pandemic. Uh, this uh, proved that uh, it's not the situation that uh, determines the productivity of an organization. And the um, for uh, the uh, officers who have uh, done their uh, best in order to uh, come up and to uh, uh, implement their planned programs and activities, congratulations. Uh, you have uh, shown a uh, good model to the uh, incoming officers and the uh, if ever this uh, pandemic will not yet the uh, come to stop uh, hope the uh, incoming uh, officers of these two main organization of our school can uh, work together as uh, you have uh, done to go on with the uh, activities of uh, the organization. Again, thank you very much for proving that uh, our school is really home of the champions. We are very much thankful to the selfless service you have given to our school despite that we are in the middle of pandemic. 
even you are all safely confined inside your homes, you were able to do the tasks expected of you as campus journalists and SSG officers. Even there are many tasks brought about by the distance learning, your dedication and commitment made our school produce digital version of the pioneer and ang nangunguna. And we were able also to bag division awards in SSG. Today is the moment that we recognize all those sacrifices and efforts because what you have achieved greatly contributed to the successful conduct of school year 2020-2021. Thus, I would like to extend my warmest congratulations. Kayo ang patunay na kahit sa gitna ng pandemya, tuloy pa rin ang serbisyo at tuloy pa rin ang campus journalismo. Mabuhay tayong lahat. Let's begin the most awaited part of our recognition by presenting the SSG advisors to be followed by the presentation of awards of SSG officers. Here are the SSG advisors. SSG advisor, Mr. Roger T. Montero. Senior High School Advisor, Mr. Jonathan P. Cacabelos. Junior High School Advisor, Mrs. Recta Y. Cordero. KP Margaret Adame, SSG Special Projects Committee. SSG Leadership Award Lian Jun B. Adviento SSG Grade 9 Representative SSG Leadership Award Makatao Advocate Award Shenron A. Almario SSG Grade 8 Representative SSG Leadership Award Makatao Advocate Award Shekina Luis T. Andaya SSG Documentation Committee SSG Leadership Award Makatao Advocate Award Ruby Isabel C. Arsena SSG Vice President SSG Leadership Award Makabansa Advocate Award Justin Gail Baldo SSG Publicity Committee SSG Leadership Award Makatao Advocate Award Rebecca G. Bitonio SSG Solid Waste Management Committee SSG Leadership Award Makatao Advocate Award Emil Jan V. Bolso SSG Special Projects Committee SSG Leadership Award Makatao Advocate Award Wendell L. Cabe SSG Grade 8 Representative SSG Leadership Award Makatao Advocate Award Globally D. Kabutahe SSG Grade 11 Representative SSG Leadership Award Makabansa Advocate Award John Vincent D. Kabutahe SSG Grade 8 Representative SSG Leadership Award Makatao Advocate Award Princess C. Calderon SSG Grade 8 Representative SSG Leadership Award Makatao Advocate Award 
Christian Nikolai S. Calpo, SSG Grade 9 Representative. SSG Leadership Award, Makatao Advocate Award. Stephanie Priscilline P. Castillo, SSG Grade 9 Representative. SSG Leadership Award, Makatao Advocate Award. Leigh Jeriel Y. Cordero, SSG Grade 11 Representative. SSG Leadership Award, Makatao Advocate Award. Jamie Alexi Lay C. Ferrer, SSG Grade 11 Representative. SSG Leadership Award, Makatao Advocate Award. Chris Derwell Fruel, SSG Student Welfare Committee. SSG Leadership Award. Nicole Lazarte. SSG Senior Peace Officer SSG Leadership Award Geneva Eloisa V. Manalastas SSG Documentation Committee SSG Leadership Award Makatao Advocate Award Christine Hazel A. Manzano SSG Student Advocate Award SSG Leadership Award Armida Blanca O. Menor SSG Grade 11 Representative SSG Leadership Award Manuelito Jerome C. Villa SSG Grade 9 Representative SSG Leadership Award Makatao Advocate Award Chris Janmel L. Vito Cruz SSG Student Program Committee SSG Leadership Award Makatao Advocate Award Let us all welcome Ace Jamli B. Oliveros the SSG President to deliver his farewell speech. To our school principal, Mr. Emilio G. Ison Jr., our assistant school principal for senior high school, Mrs. Madeline Enomis, our assistant school principal for junior high school, Mrs. Maria Concepcion Iglesias, head teachers and coordinators of the different departments in the junior high school, subject group heads in the senior high school, members of the teaching and non-teaching of NNCHS, fellow officers, friends, ladies, and gentlemen, good day. Despite the COVID-19 pandemic, our supreme student government organization remains strong as it constantly reminds us to be strong as well. More than that, it inspires us to be more resilient in student welfare as we hurdle the challenges brought about by this pandemic. Standing in front of you to tell my leadership story, this serious situation is not the hindrance to lead our fellow schoolmates in implementing projects. We find our way to lead by doing it virtually. For the last few months of our term, I conclude that we succeed and accomplish our mission and leadership despite the pandemic. And finally, our Supreme Student Government Organization bags two of the best SDG core values implementer. We prove that our school is place where champions are honed. Our organization expressed a grateful thanks to the parents, students, school stakeholders, and other organizations for the support of our implemented projects throughout the year. Without you, we can achieve this kind of appreciation. And for being finalists in search for most outstanding Supreme Student Government Leader in our division, it's such an honor to represent my beloved school. I believe to myself that my leadership skills will remark of every NNCH chance that everything is possible if you believe to yourself. A strong cooperation and connection of each and everyone and a unity of social and personal aspect. You can achieve it. Even I'm not the SSG president that never lead through face-to-face, -face, I'm here always your Koya Press. 
a unique and memorable SG pandemic president after my turnover soon. A big pressure, but it gives me a lot of experience and memories. I ask one question. Paano babangon ng isang kupunan kung ang kanilang leader ay nadapa? Being a SG president, a leader that need to be more patient, flexible, and responsible. For almost a year and a half months term, I realized that I am also closely to my old self as regular student. Why? In my lower years, I am not student leader yet, but my experience as SG president is likely to it. I am flexible in doing my projects and helping my schoolmates. In video presentation, I try to be script writer, director, cast, and editor, which is likely what responsibility I hold now. Flexible of doing all the responsibility in this organization, monitoring, planning, and implementing. SDG president is not perfect. It is normal to commit mistakes and fail. What is the importance of my question lately is, kung ang leader ay nadapa, paano nga ba makakabangon ng isang koponan? I answered it honestly in my experience. I suffered a mental breakdown and stress. But you know, my officers are really amazing. They are cooperative always cheer up me and helping to improve our plans and projects. That's why I conclude, kahit madapa ang leader, ay babangon pa rin ang kupunan dahil sa pagtutulungan ng bawat isa. A leader is also a follower that need to be considered the suggestions of others because without my co-officers and supportive advisors, we will never accomplish our projects successfully. A long patient that considered ignoring all the negative feedbacks and continue to lead my legacy. As I stated in my inaugural speech lately, as the elected president of the highest government organization, together with my co-officer and advisors, I, however, am not the hindered from serving my fellow schoolmates, I successfully continue to discharge my duties and responsibilities, even when we are in the new normal of education. Moreover, I also successfully initiated the projects, purposes, and activities that are embedded in our action plan for the school year with the guidance and assistance of our advisors. Looking forward in the remaining days of my term. As a leader, I believe that the true meaning of leadership is not about the prestige of the position that I hold, but the action I instigate for the betterment of the student body, but the whole school in general. And now, I successfully accomplish all of this. I am bodied of being a good leader entails great responsibility. Therefore, for the whole school year, I shall remain steadfast to triumph over challenges and I shall exhibit strong moral characters worthy of emulation by others. I urge and encourage to all of us to stay strong and healthy in these trying times. Let us commit ourselves to doing the best that we can to fulfill our functions as officers. And most importantly, let us become a good example to others. Along with this part, we fervently pray in one as whole for the extermination of this pandemic. With God's grace, with God's grace we shall overcome all of this. Let us be cautious and always observe health and safety protocols as all of us continue to battle against the coronavirus. Finally, I thank all of you for believing me. Kinaya ko ang pagiging leader. Maniwala ka lang sa kakayahan mo dahil sa huli ito ay ang karangalan na iyong mapapagtagumpayan. Again, thank you and have a nice day to all. Presenting the SSG Completers and Graduates with their corresponding awards.
Makatao Advocate Award. Let us all listen to the message of the SG Advisor, Mr. Roger Montero. I extend my warmest congratulations to all of you, especially to the SSG officers, representatives, committee members, journalists who just graduated. As a leader, you have to believe in what you can do, not just for yourself, but most importantly, for your fellow NNCHNs. Moreover, you have to stand strong and firm for what you think is best for them and for the school as a whole. And you have to serve as a good example to others. As a writer and reporter, you have to be fair in making and writing news reports. You have to see to it that what you are writing and reporting does not put anyone in danger and will not ruin one's reputation. And you have to love what you are doing. On this day, all of you have come to reap the laurels of your year-long hard work. Now, you are recognized for what you have done good so far. And you have proven your worth as NNCHN. Lastly, I wish all of you good health amid this health crisis, a good heart to help amid this, these challenging times and a sharp mind to think of what is indeed is best for you as you move forward. Thank you and again, congratulations to all of you. Ms. Rica Del Sereno, the Publication Advisor of the Pioneer, will now deliver her message. Congratulations to the staff of the Pioneer and Ang Nangunguna, the official school publications of Nairocan National Central High School, for coming up with the 48th edition of our paper. You have shown your commitment to accomplish this year's edition. You have doubled the effort of a CJ, for I know that it is but challenging to gather reliable information without face-to-face -face interaction. I have witnessed your dedication and your passion in campus journalism and with that, you truly deserve our recognition. To the graduates who became a part of Journalism Club, please receive my felicitation and gratitude for displaying fondness to deliver news and to let us maximize your writing prowess. Thank you everyone for proving that NNCHS is indeed the home of the champions even in the field of campus journalism. We are always proud to call you the products of the great NNCHS. Again, congratulations to all of you who have made journalism possible even in these challenging times. Let us all listen to the message of Mrs. Rose Joy Nigmai, the Publication Advisor of Ang Namunguna. Pagbati sa mga mag-aaralan at tapos sa taong panuruan ito, kami ay nagagalak sapagkat naitawid ninyo ang isang taon kahit na mayroong pandemya. Ang patlubutan ng ang nangunguna ay lubos na nagpapasalamat sa mga mag-aaral na nagbigay pa rin ng kanilang oras para makapaglathala ng isang issue ngayong panahon ng pandemya. Kaya naman bilang gantimpala, kami ay magbibigay ng parangal bilang ganti sa inyong kasipagan at kahusayan ng pagsusulat. Kayo ay nakapagbigay pa rin ng inyong mga artikulo, mga sulatin na siya namang malaking tulong upang buhayin ang ating ang namumuna sa panahon ng pandemya. Kaya naman, sana ipagpatuloy pa rin ninyo ang inyong pagiging campus journalist 
kahit na kayo ay makatuntun na sa kolehiyo at para naman sa mga mag-aaral ng junior high school at senior high school, sana rin ay paghusayan pa at ipamalas ang inyong kahusayan sa pagsulat ng balita o ng anumang sulatin pa para ma ma paunlad pa nating lalo ang ating patnubutan. Muli, binabati ko kayong lahat. Binabati ko rin ang inyong mga guro at siyempre pagpalain nawa kayo ng Diyos. Presenting the School Paper Advisors of Angamununa and the Pioneer School Publication. Rica del Sereno, the Pioneer School Paper Advisor. Ross Joyce Silagmay, ang nangunguna school paper advisor. Lorena C. Cabani, ang nangunguna school paper assistant advisor. Olin Luis Bagorio, the pioneer school paper assistant advisor. Mark Ian B. Felicitas Ang Nangunguna School Paper Assistant Advisor Nico Marie Reyes The Pioneer School Paper Assistant Advisor Melvin Tamayo The Pioneer School Paper Assistant Advisor Presenting the Pioneer Journalism Awardees. Christine Hazel Manzano. The Pioneer Editor-in-Chief. Fiona Angeli Sirigunay. Associate Editor. Billy Joe Prudence Balalio, Managing Editor. Christelle Ann Manzano, News Editor. Kenneth R. Vergara, Sports Editor. Krishna Elise Clarine, Feature Editor. Russell Ison, Cartist Jetro Leones, Opinion Editor Joanna Marie De Leon, Science Editor Gerald Subnet, Photojournalist Pulin Kaira Aison, photojournalist. Hana Joel Ampo, photojournalist. Sheena Marie Berman, contributor. Luis Gabriel Sabinicio, contributor. Shanice Zaya Stephanie Kappa, Contributor Gwen Angela Alafriz, Contributor Hannah Jelena Mendoza, Contributor Janine Erian Menalastas, Contributor Terom Montero Contributor Presenting the Ang Nangunguna Journalism Awardees J.R.D. Kalura 
Punong patnugot ng ang nangunguna. Ace Jamli B. Oliveros Katulong na patnugot. Cedric John L. Vito Cruz Tagapamahala Danica Assis Editor ng Balita Alisa Ray Cabuslay Editor ng Wat Halain Jadeline Bargado Editor ng Sports Janelle B. Oliveros Editor ng Agham Ruby Isabel C. Arsena Tagakuha ng Larawan Wendell John C. Lazo Tagaguhit ng Karton Liana Jean Bayuka Tagawasto ng CP Lei Vonisha Andolin Contributor Rebecca Bitonio Contributor Ruby Isabel Arsena, the SSG Vice President, will now deliver her closing remarks. To our dear school principal, assistant school principals, teachers, faculty staffs, parents, students, friends, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. I would like to begin on congratulating my co-leaders, student journalists, and our advisors for a job well done. Over the past few months, let's be honest, it has been a roller coaster ride. But we're able to adjust and conduct different activities and attend seminars through one line. We've encountered many obstacles, yet here we are today, celebrating, for we have already accomplished our duty. To my co-leaders, let's remember that leadership is not about the title or the position. It's about the impact, the influence, and the action. Thank you for not giving up and for the efforts that you guys always put in. To our student journalists, thank you for putting your heart in everything you do. To our advisors, we learned a lot and we will keep on learning. Thank you so much for your guidance and support. Indeed, the pandemic gave us a lot of hardships, but we're able to adopt and overcome these challenges. It will always be an experience to remember. Thank you and God bless. For joining us to the first Supreme Student Government and School Publication Virtual Recognition Ceremony. I am Jane Manalastas and Cyber Jen L. Vitacruz. Signing off!